Armando, you okay? Hey, Maria, how are you? How was your day, Maria? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I, uh, I am sick. Oh, no. Yes, I have flu, like uh, COVID suspicious. Maybe. Uh oh. You have to be careful, Maria. Thanks. It's dangerous. Yes, it's dangerous. Mm -hmm. But I hope um, I, I feel good uh, soon. Yeah. Yeah, you need to be very careful. Okay, thanks. And you don't feel a fever or cough or how do you feel, Maria? Um, I I feel cold and fever. No, not fever. I mean, I don't know to say uh, congestion nasal. I don't know. How do you say what, Maria? Uh, how do you say uh, congestion? Congestion. Nasal congestion. Nasal congestion. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Okay. And you, Elsa, how are you? Fine. Fine. Thank you. Today I'm go, I went to the El Salvador Hospital for my second vaccine. Hey, that's mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, all 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 is all is fine. I I don't have fever, no pain, nothing. All is fine. Okay, I'm glad. Congratulations, finally. Thank you. Huh? Thank you. Yes, that's good. And you, Henry? How are you? I'm fine. I I was I was freaking Marty. You were what, Henry? I was uh, the new uh, episode. The new episode. The new episode of Rick and Mori. Oh, that's right. That's right. I, I was watching this before the the class. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm glad. I'm glad you liked it. Okay. I like it. And you, Rafa? How was your weekend? Hello, teacher. Good evening, everyone. That was that. Uh, it was great. Uh, I went to a Termales. Uh, uh, I don't remember the name. Alicante, Alicante Termales. Ah, okay. I was going to say Santa Teresa, but okay. <laughs> oh, no, Santa Teresa is next to Alicante. Ah, okay, okay. I've never been to Alicante. I only thought of Santa Teresa. I recommend I recommend you the Alicante Termales. It's really nice. a great place. Yes, it's, it's nice. Okay. And I feel relaxing. That's good. That's the important to go, right? To relax. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Carla, or Ivania, how are how was your weekend? Hi, teacher. Very good. What are you waiting? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, in my case, in the Saturday, I I gone to the the work in the morning. Uh huh. I went. I went to work. I went to work. Yeah. Um, and the Sunday, in my house. 
Okay. And in the afternoon, what did you do on Saturday? Um, in the class, the university. Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you have a, a lot of activities, huh? Always very busy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. And Javier, how about you? How was your weekend? Hi, good evening. Uh, my weekend, uh, the last Saturday in the morning, I worked in the, at the school. And the afternoon, I keep, um, keep my, my children. <laughs> and in the Sunday, the Sunday is, was different because um, I went to uh, the, um, no. pro, uh, the my father's property. My father's uh, um, uh, he go on and heaven, and uh, he um, uh, heritage. I don't know in, in English. The, uh, uh, we have uh, a heritage of father's heritage in the in the San Juan Pico. Oh, okay. And in 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 this property, do you have uh, trees or fruits or houses or what do you have there, Javier? Only trees, uh, fruit, fruit, fruit trees. Uh, Mangoes, uh, avocados, uh, plantains, only that. <laughs> okay, okay. Good, okay. Well, guys, it's good to have you back. I'm glad everybody is here. Uh, congratulations, I'm, I'm glad that you made it. Um, today we're gonna be looking at describing our neighborhoods and changes. So when we describe about our neighborhoods, we use normally the comparatives and we use the past tense right so now my neighborhood is more dangerous or my neighborhood is safer do you remember the difference in the comparatives when we use er and when we use more no yes no, teacher. No, okay. All right. Thank you, Elsa. All right. So, excuse me, what was the question? If you remember how to use the comparatives. Yeah, yes. yes. More, more and then? No, more, most. What's the most? most more. I remember that we use more when the war is long, like expensive. You okay. say more expensive because the war is, is long. In, in small words like get, you yeah. only add ER. Uh, ER, yeah. We only add ER. And we That's add nice. some, and we sometimes add a T or a T, a T. I don't remember. Some verbs are, are very different to the change of the, the letters. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we need add. Uh, other words than E and R. Okay. I only remember that this. No, that's right. That's good though. That's the idea. We have, for example, that, like you said, that the words that are small, we use ER. The words that are bigger, we use more. And also we can use less. More oh, okay. increase, less decrease, right? So for example, now computers are less expensive. Before they were more expensive, but now the technology is cheaper. Cheaper because it's for small things, small words, right? It really, in English, it has to do with the syllables. If it has one syllable, ER. If it has two syllables, more. So for example, cheap, we don't say cheap, we say cheap. 
a vote. The only exception or the only one that is different is the words that finish with Y. If they finish with Y, okay, we put IER. So for example, we have the word pretty, right? Not prettier, like that. And of course, always in English, we have some things that are irregular, right? Or exceptions. For example, the word uh, good. For good, the comparative is better. Or bad, okay? The comparative worse. is worse. For example, like that. Is that okay? Yes. Yeah. Good. So we're going to be looking at a couple of them. And the idea is very simple. The first thing we're going to do is listen to people describing their neighborhoods. So we get an idea of what we're going to do. So, okay, it's just a matter of describing how is your neighborhood, uh, what, what are the changes, just to have an idea. Let me share the screen. Okay, so we're going to listen and we want to answer the questions, but first Listen, try to get the idea. What are the changes? Listen to people discuss changes. Check the topic each person talks about. One. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. Two. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Well, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus. And when one finally shows up, it's usually full. Three. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. Page 60. Exercise 5. One more time. Part B. Listen again. Write down the change, and if things are better or worse now. 1. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. Two. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Well, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus, and when one finally shows up, it's usually full. Three. 
I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. All right, let's take a look and see how much you understood. What's number one? What is the woman describing? What is the topic? Uh, environment. 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 <laughs> okay, what about number two? What is the man talking about? Transportation. 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 Excellent. And now, number three, what is the woman talking about? Families. Families. Oh, families. Families. Okay, let's take a look. Excellent. Excellent listening skills. Now, you notice what did they do? They were describing and talking about how their neighborhood has changed, right? The discussion of their neighborhood what's different, what's new, things like that, how the things were before, okay? So that's the first thing we can do. With our partners, we're gonna describe your neighborhood, maybe a different neighborhood, that's okay. You can compare the new neighborhood <clears throat> old neighborhood. Maybe you live in the same house for 20 years, that is okay. You can describe <laughs> now and 20 years ago. But the important is, if you notice the topics, is not only the neighborhood. Look at one more time, I share the different topics you can describe. What are the topics that we had? Environment, transportation, population, family, the cities, the shopping, the businesses, many different areas about your neighborhood, okay? So, as an example, I'm going to go to my partner and I'm going to say, ah, uh, imagine my partner is uh, Javier. Javier, before I used to live in, uh, in Lourdes. In Lourdes, my neighborhood was very dirty. It, it was very ugly neighborhood. Not, they didn't have a lot of trees or a lot of parks. Now I live in Santa Tecla and in Santa Tecla is, is cleaner, not, not very clean, but it's cleaner. Uh, they have more parks, they have a cafe talon. I have a lot of activities for the family, for the fr and continue all of the differences between the places. It's okay? Yes, teacher. It's okay. Do you need any, any book? Do you need any vocabulary? No? What is population, teacher? Population, for example, how many people are in the city before maybe a, a little bit of people or a lot and now is less? For example, Santa Tecla before, a little bit of people because it's all is cafetales, but now Santa Tecla everywhere is full, a big population, a lot of people. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's try with our partners. Hi, we're about to study conditional sentences. A conditional sentence is formed by a possible situation and a consequence. Pay attention to the audio program for more explanation. Conditional sentences with if clauses. Possible situation plus simple present. If you get a high paying job. Consequence plus future with will, may, or might. You won't have to work as hard.
If you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. If you don't have to work as hard, you'll have a lot more free time. If you have a lot more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. The first conditional is a structured used for talking about possibilities in the present or the future. We will explain you how this conditional is formed and when it is used. When we talk about this conditional, which is called first conditional, by the way, we will divide it in two parts, if clause and main clause. In conditional, we use the word if. So we say, if I study, I will pass my exam. Follow me in the structure, if clause, if plus subject plus verb in simple present. Main clause, subject plus will plus verb. Let's work on more examples. If you save money, you will go on a trip. If she speaks English, she will have a better job. If we exercise, we will be healthy. All of these examples show a possibility of what might happen if. I will give you some possible situations. Try to give me your consequence using the structure learned. Don't forget to write them on our discussion box. If you study English, if you lose your job, if you have children, don't forget to write your consequence using the future will, may, or might. Hi, we're about to study conditional sentences. A conditional sentence is formed by a possible situation and a consequence. Pay attention to the audio program for more explanation. Conditional sentences with if clauses. Possible situation plus simple present. If you get a high paying job. Consequence plus future with will, may, or might. You won't have to work as hard. If you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. If you don't have to work as hard, you'll have a lot more free time. If you have a lot more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. The first conditional is a structured used for talking about possibilities in the present or the future. We will explain you how this conditional is formed and when it is used. When we talk about this conditional, which is called first conditional, by the way, we will divide it in two parts, if clause and main clause. In conditional, we use the word if. So we say, if I study, I will pass my exam. Follow me in the structure. If clause, if plus subject plus verb in simple present. Main clause, subject plus will plus verb. Let's work on more examples. If you save money, you will go on a trip. If she speaks English, she will have a better job. If we exercise, we will be healthy. All of these examples show a possibility of what might happen if. I will give you some possible situations. Try to give me your consequence using the structure learned. Don't forget to write them on our discussion box. If you study English, if you lose your job, if you have children, don't forget to write your consequence using the future will, may, or might. Hi, we're about to study conditional sentences. A conditional sentence is formed by a possible situation and a consequence. Pay attention to the audio program for more explanation. Conditional sentences with if clauses. Possible situation plus simple present. If you get a high paying job. Consequence plus future with will, may, or might. You won't have to work as hard. If you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. If you don't have to work as hard, you'll have a lot more free time. If you have a lot more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. The first conditional is a structured used for talking about possibilities in the present or the future. We will explain you how this conditional is formed 
and when it is used. When we talk All right, guys. How are you feeling? Pretty good about your neighborhoods? You feel that you can explain them? We can try. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's hear some examples. Let's make sure that we have the right idea. Okay, give me an example. Whoever, who feels secure, you can do it. Come on. My, my partner is Brenda, and Brenda okay. saved me, saved me uh, in, in, her, in her neighborhood. Uh, are, today are many factories, the uh, oil, the uh, junk food, <laughs> um, and text, textiles. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but uh, her neighborhood is growing of population. In my case, my, my, I, I talking about my neighborhood uh, the, uh, before uh, uh, was greeny, greeny, greenier. But now uh, the trees is good for the for the build new uh, houses or uh, commercial structures. Okay, all right, good, Javier, good. Brenda, what about Javier? What did Javier say? Okay. <laughs> The neighborhood, the neighborhood, twenty years ago, it's it's nice. it's more dangerous uh, in this moment. Ah, than, okay. Than, uh, in the and the moment uh, what life in this place um, uh, in front of your house. Uh, Across the street, principal is con a task in Prado de Venecia. In uh, Sayapango. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, the environment is more pollution uh, now. Mm -hmm. um, I don't remember <laughs> the more information. <laughs> no problem, no problem. That's good. I know La Conacaste. I used to live in Conacaste. Oh, huh? yeah. Yes, yes, yes. But mm, for the river, the smell. <laughs> think? Yes, in Is Conacaste stinky... for the fast stinky... bridge, right, Javier? Yes, a stinky river. Yes, it's a stinky river, Henry. Oh, Las Cañas River. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. It's for the factories, they put all of the pollution and then the smell come in the afternoon, always in the and, afternoon, you smell. But the fast area use chemical components? Mm, I think it's for the chicken. Or ah, the chicken. Uh, mm -hmm. the chicken. Because there's, there's a pollo indio there's factory. So oh, pollo yes, indio yes, factory. The pollo, chicken. Okay. Yeah. Uh, pollo. The skin of the, the, the chicken skin, they, they throw, throw to the river. Maybe not the chicken skin, the chicken blood. Ah, chicken blood. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, that's the thing. Uh, yeah. My my partner is Mirna, and okay. she she said me that uh, eight years ago, where where they live, the around 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 her house. There are many trees, many plants, and now uh, are are more houses around her her house. So it's bad for the for the environment and the weather, and more pollution is something that 
change in, in their neighborhood. Okay, all right. Mirna, tell me about your partner. Hello, teacher. We are talking with the, my partner that in the neighborhood today, there are a lot of houses. For one party is, uh, is good because uh, we have a lot of neighbors and people has houses and we have, but the consequences paying for the environment today is expensive by a house and rent a house is lost in many money because the house never gonna be your. Yes, yes, that's true. Good, Mira. good, Henry, all right. Uh, Elsie. Okay, uh, who else, who else? Elsie, Elsie, who was your partner? My partner was Carla Ivania. Okay. Uh, she told me uh, that she lives in uh, Sayapango and um, she said uh, her neighbors are very noisy. They done, compared than one year ago and mm -hmm. they, they love to dance and uh, they, they, uh, they have parties uh, on weekend. Compared than my neighborhood, now I, I, I live in a town, so it's very quiet, very quiet. Mm. Okay. That's it. <laughs> then it, she Elsie. told me about their, 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 uh, she was married um, one year ago. <laughs> and ah, okay. Ah, so before she lived in a town? No, now I live in a town. You and it's very yeah. I live in a town and it's very very quiet. Ah uh, okay. No no Ivania. No. Okay. No. I say compared than than her neighborhood is very quiet right here and mm -hmm. she has a, a noisy neighbor. Yes, it's nice to live in a quiet neighborhood. Do you realize? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hey, Anya, what happened? Disappear? Okay. My partner is Elsie. <laughs> uh, she lives in the San Ramon. Um, I don't remember. I live in the apartments the 20 23 years ago um i don't remember nothing ivania i don't pay attention to my partner mm -hmm. <laughs> sorry elsie <laughs> mm -hmm. where's san ramon The Mexicanos? I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure where San Ramon is. Yes, teacher. It's in Mexicanos. Ah, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Who else? Who else is next? I think it's Rafael, right? Or Maria? My partner is Rafael. Mm -hmm. Both live in Santa Ana. But but in a different neighborhood. Uh, Rafael lives in El Ibo. Where? And he told me that uh, her neighborhood is, is uh, quiet and um, he missed uh, the, the celebrations about the um, Christmas and Halloween, and because when when he in many years ago, I, I don't remember how many years he told me, but he twenty 
Uh, 20, okay. <laughs> 10 years ago, he, um, he went to the door on the door, knocking the door, and people uh, gave, gave him candies in, in Halloween. And when it was Christmas, the, the family's uh, meeting, we, we have, we have, uh, he had a family meeting to celebrate, but in that, in this time, this, uh, now, he, he doesn't celebrate with them with the families and when the 20 years ago uh, in the in, in his neighborhood um, there there were many single people uh, sing, yes yeah, single people but i i don't remember so much okay uh, okay only. no problem no problem that's good that's a lot of information a lot remember, yes. Rafa, tell us about her. Okay. Um, Maria lives uh, in Santana too. He live, uh, she lives in a place named uh, Santa Leonor. Uh, my grandfather lived uh, there in the same place uh, until, until he uh, died. And uh, so, Santa Leonor was a, a few years ago was a really a good place to live, but now it's a dangerous place for the foreign people. And for example, I never I will go to Santa Leonor right now because it's too dangerous. But for example, for Maria, it's a, a quiet place for, for she because she lives there and she will not have uh, any problem uh, to move uh, around all the road the, the, the place. <sighs> Mariette also told me that uh, there are a few a fever of trees before uh, 10, uh, I, I guess 10 years ago. And about the pollution, uh, she told me also that uh, there is a, a transportation and the smoke is polluted the sun, all the sun. I think that is all, all the things I remember. <laughs> That's good too. That's good too. All right. Good. Okay. I think that was it because the other ones came in a little bit later for the activities. That's great. Now we're going to be looking at, at conditionals. This is if you can change things in your neighborhood, if you could do things differently, how would you change it? And what would be the consequence? For this conditional sentences, we're going to watch a small video so we can see the correct structure, okay? Let's look at how is the structure. Hi, we're about to study conditional sentences. A conditional sentence is formed by a possible situation and a consequence. Pay attention to the audio program for more explanation. Conditional sentences with if clauses. Possible situation plus simple present. If you get a high paying job. Consequence plus future with will, may, or might. You won't have to work as hard. If you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. If you don't have to work as hard, you'll have a lot more free time. If you have a lot more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. Okay, so I want you to notice a little bit there. You see how is the verb? In this case, it's the verb in present, right? If you get, if you don't, if you have. And then the consequence, we use the, the verb in future. Future negative, won't future positive will. Also, we can use the different models like may or might. So we can use future, we can use will, or we can use may. But the verb 
always and present in this situation. You'll have a lot more free time. If you have a lot more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. The first conditional is a structured used for talking about possibilities in the present or the future. We will explain you how this conditional is formed and when it is used. When we talk about this conditional, which is called the first conditional, by the way, we will divide it in two parts, if clause and main clause. In conditional, we use the word if. So we say, if I study, I will pass my exam. Follow me in the structure. If clause, if plus subject plus verb in simple present. Main clause, subject plus will plus verb. Let's work on more examples. If you save money, you will go on a trip. If she speaks English, she will have a better job. If we exercise, we will be healthy. All of these examples show a possibility of what might happen if. I will give you some possible situations. Try to give me your consequence using the structure learned. Don't forget to write them on our discussion box. If you study English, if you lose your job, if you have children, don't forget to write your consequence using the future will, may, or might. Okay, so now we understand a little bit about what we're talking about, about the future, okay? And what for the future tenses. Here in our next exercise, we're going to look at several different sentences. If you, and then the verb in present, right? Positive. And with your partners, you're going to read and discuss which is the appropriate, uh, what is the appropriate combination, okay? So this is 4.11 in the platform. So 4.11 with our partners. First, are there any questions on how to formulate or how to make this future, this conditional? Okay. No? Okay. Yes. So we're do two activities. The first activity is we're going to do exercise. 11. Okay. That's in the platform. The second activity is we're going to talk about the conditions in our neighborhood. We're going to choose if. Okay. Hello. Hang on, guys. Give me a second. Yep. My daughter is scary for the rainy because the window opens and enter the the, right. the, 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 the light and uh, the wind, the, wind and the crash the doors uh, oh. and she wake up and is scary, puppy, puppy. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I, I, as you can see, the electricity in my house is gone. It's gone. <laughs> can you see me? I, I can hear. Only you. Only oh, you. Yeah, you do glasses. Only, glasses, glasses. Right? only my glasses. glasses. Only am, glasses. In this moment, I am using my cell phone. I am using the 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 internet for my cell phone and the laptop that has the charge. Okay. You have to buy a candle. <laughs> right? Uh -huh. yes. You need a lighter. Mm -hmm. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to we're going to finish the class. Um, okay. So okay, teacher. We're going to, as I said, four point eleven. Uh, we're going to do with our partners, and then we're going to talk about our neighborhood. So, okay. as an example, if. If they put cameras in my neighborhood, it will be safer, for example, right? Mm -hmm. Or if they collect, if they collect the garbage 
in my neighborhood, it would be cleaner. Things like this. So two activities, 4.11, and the idea is speaking with our partners. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. Let's go right. with our groups and let's see. So two activities. Okay. And teacher, thank you for the, your effort. Oh, thank you guys for understanding. But in this moment, no yes. life. So it's going to. We, be <laughs> we live in El Salvador. We, we understand. Oh, your... Don't don't worry, yes, teacher. You, you don't have to apologize. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you for understanding. <laughs> All right, let's try it.
hey, hey guys, I found the candle. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so that way you can see a little bit, a little bit, but you can see. You look like a Halloween. <laughs> like a Halloween. <laughs> it's like you. It's like you are going to. I, I think so. That. That. <laughs> it's, the, it's the Halloween special. <laughs> I I will the screenshot. Uh, <laughs> but I try. I try to finish the class. <laughs> And we really appreciate that. No, I appreciate yeah. you guys. I, and it's not simple because normally in my neighborhood, I don't have problems with the electricity, but, but I, I heard the explosion in the, when I heard the light oh. and then I heard the explosion. Uh, in the moment, I know the transformer exploded. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have to call the, the company, the electrician yes. company. But no problem because I live near the police. So the police call the company. Okay. They need the electricity. Well, guys, tell me, what did we learn? Did we, let's see what we talk about our neighborhoods. If, what could be different in our neighborhoods? <laughs> Brenda, okay, Brenda, you begin. I <laughs> have less, uh, less cats and dogs. The neighborhood is the neighborhood will uh, less noisy. I hear a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. What are some other ideas? Uh, for example, in my neighbor, last years ago, there there are a lot of dogs. We saw. Uh, how do you say perro callejero? How do you say what? Perro callejero. Stray dogs. A three, a three, a three stray. Dog. I put in the chat. I put in the chat. Stray dogs. Okay. There are many stray dogs, and people give uh, people people kill them. So if the people don't kill the the dogs uh, five years ago, there are in this moment a lot of stray. How do you say? Stray dogs. The stray dogs in my neighborhood. But it's a sad history. It's a sad situation. Okay. Javier, what about your neighborhood? How can it be improved? Uh, if my neighborhood pick up the pick up puppy dog, uh, the streets are cleaning are cleaner. Mm -hmm. Javier, can you repeat? I didn't hear. It, it, okay. Mm -hmm. If my neighborhood pick up puppy uh, uh, popo dog, mm, the streets are cleaner. Okay, yes, that's right, that's right. Good, Henry, give me an example. Teacher, I, ah, if Mirna. we help to environment in the neighborhood, we will have a better country. Sorry, Mirna, please repeat. If we help to environment in the neighborhood, we will have a better country. Yes, if we help the environment in the neighborhood, very good, that's correct. Thank you. Thank you. Good, good. Henry? Uh, if we have, tell me, if we don't use uh, plastic bowls, plastic bags, uh, there are less pollution. 
Correct. If we don't use plastic bags, there is less pollution. Plastic bags. Good. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Let's. Uh, Ivania, give me an example, Ivania. Um, in my neighborhood, um, um, we wait to take out the garbage and the three days the week. Okay, if, say the sentence again, Ivania. Remember, we begin with if, if. Ah, okay. Um, so don't, don't worry, Ivania. You, you think, Ivania, you think. Maybe Rafael can give you an example. Rafael, okay. can you give an example? Uh, if my neighborhood has more uh, garbage baskets, uh, will be not uh, trash throwing in the, on the floor. Good. That's right. There won't be trash thrown on the floor. Very good. Very good, guys. All right. I thank you guys so much for understanding. <laughs> and I... I don't know if I'm screaming or if, if you can hear me because it's raining very hard too. So <laughs> yes, we can hear you. And, and the strong storm, guys. Uh, thank you again for understanding and hopefully tomorrow I have electricity. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. Sir. Thanks have for a your nice night. Bye. Thank you. For your thank you. Bye. Bye, guys. See you, see you tomorrow. See you, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank, thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.